I need you, before you click off this video, to take my, uh, take everything I say with heart. Please, do not let this strange pink back room with the cool grays in the background and the, and the bonnet and the Vemma hoodie for you. I am a nigga who knows expertise. Now, on that note, would you, for $37, give head to Pharrell Williams, but in return, he, he lets you on board with the team. What do you do that? I don't, you know, these questions are getting oddly specific and personal and starting to seem like it's not really uh, in the way of like, it's not like helping niggas out. You know what I mean? Like if it's like a would you rather, but the would you rather. What is going on guys? My beautiful niggas. Ooh. <laughs> Let me retake that nigga. Autocorrect. What is going on my dear? Lovely, sexy, thick, hot, messy, chiseled, audacious, frisky niggas. I like frisky. Uh, and now today on this video, we are going to piggyback off of what we were talking about yesterday because I read this comment and it completely forgot, I completely forgot how uh, Virgil really stuck one in for me. Took, took the fashion game came the first black nigga from Louis V. Put the fucking shit in someone's ass and just, yeah, like that. That's how you took the fashion and put it up someone's ass and said, fuck you, like right there. On a side note though, um, there was a, this is basically a part two from part one. And I realized that there's a lot of key things that I was missing out, like uh, Virgil, Pharrell Williams, and just like the, the whole downgrade of just like TikTok bullshit. And I feel like I haven't talked about it as much. So on this video, we're gonna talk about it. So starting off, uh, let's start off with Virgil, because Virgil back then in 2016, 2017, when he had the grip with Off-White and Mike, niggas were like, well, key the brands are ass, but he, that belt's kinda nice, but niggas was fucking with that belt. But I want to pull a nigga, pull him, throw him into the ground, twist his ass, give him a fucking, what is that thing called? Give him a noogie, nigga. Give him a noogie. Every time I seen a nigga with that belt, that belt used to piss me off. But I digress. Um, I feel as though Virgil's uh, outtake, because a lot of people said that he wasn't a designer, but I feel like his colors really showed on the LV thing. And Virgil, at that point, he just wanted to see his niggas on. While he was terminally ill of uh, dying from cancer, he started putting a bunch of niggas on. And I know some of the niggas that he put on. And it's actually so crazy that he just started helping just like the most random niggas like niggas that you wouldn't even expect them like some niggas weren't even in fashion and they just started working in fashion out of nowhere because they got that virgil handout and i mean uh tens of thousands of dollars just for free just to just to bring people up so virgil was really that nigga he was helping a lot of niggas and unfortunately you know what niggas did with that <sighs> they made shitty brands quick cash grabs and all this bullshit while Virgil was over here it was like I leave the rest to you my niggas <laughs> and nigga just died just dipped from the scene like everyone was like oh shit nigga where that how did that nigga die it was so random I remember when I seen that shit I was like oh this nigga's not dead this is one of those weird like edgy memes that this nigga's not dead and the nigga was dead I was like okay <laughs> oh my god what happened to Virgil which by the way to this day I don't know why Lil Durk made that song it, was that was that a cash grab? I don't know. Like, did, did he know Virgil on a personal level? I don't know. Maybe he was in a couple off-white shows, but I don't know. I still think that that song came completely out of nowhere. It's a good, it's probably a good track for all the hood niggas. But like at the same time, where did what was the personal relationship? Why? What, oh my God! What happened to Virgil? Nigga, we know he died of cancer. So uh, I think of this as brain rot. And this is like probably a really crazy take because it's like uh, at the end of the day, this nigga is a nice nigga. I think this is also another reason why black fashion is dying because you get niggas like these who are uh, thinking they are, uh, what is it called? They are the master of style and they based off their whole entire shit brain rotting you and thinking that they have the best style because some nigga, if I came on to the fashion game, I didn't know shit and I seen this nigga wisdom. If I see this nigga wisdom on my For You page, I'll be like, yo, this is a stylish nigga. I won't say he's a fly nigga, I'd say he's a stylish because there's a difference between fly and style nigga. Stylish is just like, 
kind of wore that groovy ass teal blue suit with like yellow underneath like I don't know why niggas was like which it seems I'm, I'm barking down a black niggas tree and I'm, I'm I'm not hating on the I am hating on the nigga but at the same time you gotta realize some of this is brain rot where it's like he is not dressing for uh that's not personal style. It's more so like maybe he's giving these brands and doing a brand deal. He's showing it. Also, they're a bit more over exaggerated for more clicks and views. Also, even if that is all being said, I still think it's ass. Like, I, like honestly, like some of the outfits, most of the outfits I see, I've still never seen an outfit that I actually genuinely enjoy. And maybe that's just me because I'm such a hating ass nigga. I've been in the game for a long time. I know when my niggas was on the block going hard, nigga selling their mom's uh fucking food stamps nigga for some ricks in 2016 nigga i know i was on the block nigga twerking and i know wisdom was never like that nigga if he just comes out of nowhere and he ah, starts dressing like a dapper you know you know what he dresses like he, he dresses like those little jamaican african shops where they they're like kind of quarter stores or around uh, i know you've seen this before like especially in new york or like in the hood or like in, in california is that black owned business and you see like those like full suit mannequins and you see like kind of like fake louis v in the back but you also see all these full like one dresses like a green top and the orange is in the inside and it's a green pair of pants and then i feel like that's how that nigga dresses it's like all of that and on top of that it's just like shitty y2k trends and it's just like uh oh the, the powerful chrome hearts i'm not gonna lie that caught, caught, caught me off guard i was like all right that nigga's making moolah <laughs> that nigga's making moolah nigga and i see the other nigga so i can't hate on this nigga i am literally talking to my sister's old room with a body on uh <laughs> Talking about how much that nigga has fucked up fashion, knowing that nigga's damn near making <laughs> ten times uh, how much I'm making with these fucking YouTube videos. But I digress. I feel like that nigga's whole entire TikTok thingy is brain rot. I don't like that he is overhyped, but it makes sense because there are also a lot of other influencers uh, who also brain rot and like niggas get away with it. And unfortunately, I hate this uh, new trend that I'm starting to see and. It's like I'm really affecting the fashion community. It's like POV finally found style. And it's like, shut ah. Ooh, nigga. TikTok brain rot. A lot of Y2K black niggas are uh, there. There's no more personal style. I think New York is completely dead dried. And that is why you never see Fashion Week. When you see Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, it's just niggas just going to parties and doing going to raves and maybe Lucas and Pot is in the back just like DJ or like something like that. It's never like actual genuine fashion shows anymore because you get a whole lot of bullshit, random niggas thinking that they can run this show just because they got a quick little sponsor from Puma, which I've been noticing a lot that these black influencers would just get Puma sponsorships or maybe they don't even get the sponsorships. They just wear that and they or they get the coach shoes. Like, I don't know. But regardless, I'm starting to see like a heavy decline in uh, New York niggas acts like you barely see uh, like Prada or like all of the name brand like Curring group uh, brands actually come to New York to do their fashion show. I think everyone left it. It's just left to, to complete chaos and all this other bullshit that's been going around. And you know what? I don't blame them. I would leave too. That's why I every time I go to New York, I feel like my brain rots and then I can't wait to go back to my home. I, I hate every time I go to New York. There are some memories where I actually enjoy and the people, the niggas I fuck with, I fuck with. But uh, uh, the fashion, everything about that, especially the fashion, it, brain, it destroys my brain because everyone seems like they're trying to be the main character. That's another topic for another video, nigga. But yeah, um, another one is Pharrell Williams. I think everyone was like, oh yeah, he has to be the next LV nigga. Honestly, I don't think that he is making much of a crazy uh, change from Virgil. I think he's getting a lot of help. I don't know. I I don't see his talent. You guys are, you guys have been guffing him. This is a hot take, hot take, nigga. You guys have been guffing this nigga since he made, uh, since he was a part of like the whole entire babe and ice cream shit. You guys were guffing him and, and Nico and all this thing. Is it showing in his skills now? That was mad long ago. Is it really showing now? Keep it a buck. If he didn't have Louis V, let's say like he did have Louis V, 
is it showing in his true colors now? Can you see him making his own independent brand without Louis V? Because Louis V gave him a boost. Without Louis V, would you buy his brand and would you say that's just fire? Keep it a buck with yourself. Let's be honest, we're not doing this. So I wanna end things on a happier note. Um, do I think that black fashion has a chance to recoup what we had in the golden years? No. Like, uh, hold on, I'm gonna find that nigga's name. I'm gonna read this comment because it, it from my video, it supplements what I've been trying to say this whole entire time, but in a beautiful way. He says, Zemboss, I said this on the earlier, the last video, said back then I feel like it was because we weren't trying as hard to be fun, like it was genuine. No bullshit. Will you ever find that genuine, that genuine love for fashion, that genuine love to create? No. Uh, nowadays, I just think they can do like a drop ship, a drop like clothes brands and get like that bag because I remember niggas used to get that bag when those clothing brands first started dropping niggas were doing them fake air forces and all them all them other bullshits I don't think it could ever get genuine anymore and the niggas that are genuine and actually have like this love and actual uh, talent for design are a little less motivated now because they're seeing all the bullshit that's getting pushed to the front and they don't feel as confident that they, they don't want to sell themselves to uh, make a quick buck. They actually want to do this because they actually do love that. And you know, I'm gonna leave that off. That was a, that was a, really, that was a really deep moment. Um, <sighs> Call your subscribe, make us for more content, of course. <laughs> Updates will be updated on my Rinsta, so follow me on my Rinsta, my Instagram. I need uh, 10k followers by the end of the year. Is that a challenge? I don't think so. I think I would not be so happy. I, I think I'd be happy with like 10k, like maybe 9k. You know, that's the goal. The goal of this YouTube channel is to uh, have fun. Comment, rate, subscribe, niggas for more content, of course. And if you guys are rocking with me, drop more uh, topics that you guys would like me to talk about. I hear the suns are out, the buns are out. It is summer, nigga, and I got the beat.